Will our physical identification documents, such as identity cards or passports, soon be a thing of the past? As we increasingly make online transactions or use devices that require our fingerprints or our eyes to access services or travel, it seems very likely that IDs and similar will slowly fall into oblivion. So much so, in June this year, the European Commission announced the European Digital Identity Initiative. The goal? To open the world of safe, secure and convenient digital identities to all EU citizens and businesses. In this episode of Tech Talk, Carla and I talk with Serge Hensens, advisory partner at PwC Luxembourg, about digital identity. Notably, we deep dive into the opportunities and challenges for developing a viable and solid digital identity ecosystem in Europe and how such a system would work in practice. So, as always, let's jump right into it. Welcome to a new episode of Tech Talk. This is episode 4, season 5. Today, the topic I think touches each and every one of us because it's about our own digital identity. Now, what that is, what citizens expect, and what the European Union plans are for this, well, that's something we will reveal today because our invitee is an expert in the field. What's the name of our invitee, Carla? Hello, Carla, by the way. Hello, <laughs> hello, Luis. So our uh, guest today is uh, Serge Hensens. He's advisory partner here at PwC Luxembourg. So welcome, Serge. It's well, nice having thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you here. We are talking with one of the persons who has been working in the field for several years now, I think, if I am right. Uh, so, Carla, you always kick up, kick up, uh, kick off, I'm sorry. The I incident. always have this pleasure. You always have the <laughs> pleasure. Go ahead. So, the need for a digital identity is growing, research argues. But do you think citizens truly understand it, or is it more a governmental push? We were just talking about this before. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the question. <laughs> well, um, well, thank you also for um, having me here. Uh, I think it's a very interesting topic overall because our identity is fundamental to everybody. And, um, and of course, when it comes to digital, there is a lot of uh, uh, new technologies around, um, new processes, uh, new way of uh, using that identity. Um, so the question is, Either the citizens are aware of that or willing to, to use this kind of thing. Um, we need to see that from a, from a global perspective. Uh, there are countries around the world where this is a new normal for years, right? Or um, if we take a closer look to, to Europe, uh, if you look at uh, uh, Estonia, for example, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a country that, that uh, a bit developed in the in the late uh, 90s and um, that is um, digital by default right so mm -hmm. talking to an Estonian about a digital identity well it's an identity for them so it's a question of perspective the thing is uh, the world is becoming more and more digital e-commerce is everywhere you use a new type of identities every day a lot of them uh, social identity bank account uh, insurance, phone provider, um, you name them. I mean, social media, mm -hmm. you have an identity there. That's true. Uh, so how many passwords do you deal with? How many times you need to identify yourself in various ways? Tell yes. me about uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> we all love that. Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> forget your password. <laughs> yes. We click on it. <laughs> how many times a day? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's really central and it's really fundamental to make it easy to make it secure and to make it fast, right? So uh, if we come back to the to the, the move on the governmental aspect and, and if we look at Europe again, uh, we can see that uh, it's it's not a new thing, uh, this digital transition and it's not, and, and by default, I would say the digital transformation needs as one of the main foundation component an identity that is digital as well. Right, so to move ahead on that direction, um, all countries in Europe have made different um, uh, actions, um, developed different framework, developed different use cases. So the question now is how Europe can make that uh, integrated. 
Uh, more standardized. Standardized, uh, used everywhere the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, that you can use your identity, digital identity in France, Gen uh, Germany, Denmark, well, you name them. So that, that's really the, the, the objective uh, mm -hmm. that the Commission has now taken. And that is really needed because you have a fragmented way to use that identity across Europe and also various, uh, I would say, speed into the development of the identity. Uh, I've named uh, Estonia as one of the leaders on that, on that field. So it's, it's really needed to have a common approach, common standards, common uh, trust, I would say, across uh, Europe to have this identity live. I have a. I, I'm, I'm thinking geopolitically now. It's then. Is there any Asian country well developed in the field, considering or providing that they have very, you know, advanced technology? Do you know of some of them, like Singapore, maybe? Singapore is uh, is a very good example. They've made a lot of effort in that in that direction, okay. and um, they are clearly ahead. I would say uh, compared to most of European. Uh, countries uh, they invest uh, last year again uh, quite heavily in that uh, in that uh, perspective of course china uh, for various uh, reason but um, they are clearly um, more advanced in that in that direction as well okay Do so it's coming from both sides i would say yes. it's just the european union as a big entity is now working on Standardize and make it this, like you know, more interchangeable. Like uh, there is a word well, for that. It's just like the currency, like euro. Yes, exactly, uh, exactly. To okay. make it uh, easier. Yes, I think it's a good idea. And and I I, I remember recently you co-author um, an ebook or a white paper. Um, if I am not wrong, the title is "Unlock Digital Services and Trust Digital Life." which you can find on our website, by the way. And does it confirm this, this interest? Or, or, or what, what is the result, really, of the, of the research saying, yes, there is a citizen's push? What do you think? So th there are different uh, ways to, to, to look at this, um, this new um, trend. First, if we look from the, from the, the government or the service providers, there is a need for digital identity because it unlocks the possibilities to make it faster to, to engage with your citizen, clients, and so on, in a, in a secure way, of course. Uh, same, uh, you just replace the fact that you need to show your identity with, with a digital way to do it in, a, in more conveniently. Uh, for for all the parties, so that, and and we can see in different uh, studies that from a, from a GDP perspective it has an impact. Huh? So you you can gain into productivity uh, of different processes where you need to exp well to show your or show your identity huh? and you replace that with a with a, a digital way to do it. It is faster, faster, less costly, and so on and so forth. So. There is a, an in economic, uh, I would say, uh, advantage to do that. When it comes to the client, it's uh, for me, it's always uh, coming from the, the need that you you uh, you bring to the table. I mean, when when a client uh, see the need to use a digital identity, he will use it, mm -hmm. um, and that's a bit where I think it's important for the authorities to have that in control because. Um, we can see that, uh, well, it, it can be a, a commercial identity that can be used. Or, uh, and so then there is uh, less, uh, I would say, control on that. Like, uh, I mean, if we make a comparison also to GDPR, uh, where personal data are now um, well, highly um, controlled, um, it's, it must be the same with identities. Uh, imagine that you use your future identity will be a, a Facebook uh, identity, uh, how that can be used, uh, to whom it will be provided, what will be the access to that. I mean, it, it, it raises a lot of different uh, questions. So it's important that, of course, the provider are trusted providers and that the ecosystem around uh, the digital entity is completely and fully trusted, understood also by the, by the user how I'm giving access to my identity, what type of information I give, 
uh, I can decide it. I have really the ownership on this. We will come back to this digital identity ecosystem a little bit later because that's a pretty Actually, interesting Actually, no, that question. was my next question. That is your next question? Yes, it oh, is. Okay. We need an, ex an ecosystem, well mentioned, but what is that? Exactly. What is the digital identity <laughs> ecosystem for everybody to really understand? Wh which actors or stakeholders uh, take part in uh, this mm. ecosystem? So you have first the, the issuer of the identity, uh, someone that will give you um, the right to use that identity, uh, so many uh, authorities, but mm -hmm. it could be also a commercial uh, provider. Uh, we, we, we had uh, the chance to work with, with Star Alliance slash uh, Lufthansa in the past, uh, where they, they launched last year a uh, world program to enable uh, a digital identification of their passenger. Uh, well, through and, and using biometrics to do that. Uh, so it's a private organization that say, okay, I will give you an identity in my system. I will check your identity against a valid document. You enter the system and then you can use your face as your passport. To put it uh, in a simple way. So for instance, the access I, uh, when I access my iPhone, that that's a private company to whom I have given my digital identity. Is, is that a same? case or not? Well, th there is a record, of course, linked to your Apple account with your details. Okay. I can, did you put your identity number there? That's I, um, that's up to you. Um, ah, okay. I guess. Th there is a difference between, uh, this is really the access to the information that is linked to your identity. Okay. Uh, so th there is the identification and then the access to the information that okay. is linked to that. So, so you can say, Okay, I identify a person, uh, and as a provider, I would say, yes, that's the person. Uh, so yes or no, mm -hmm. that's the identification. And then you can also ask for information about that person. I, I understand, right? absolutely. See the, see the absolutely. Yes, because the fact that I put the finger is just, I, I'm using a biometric characteristic, mm -hmm. I don't know how to call it, to access my phone, but it doesn't necessarily mean that Apple or the phone is accessing my personal information. Is that what you mean? Absolutely. So okay. you give uh, just access to the phone. To the phone. The, yes. the, the, the biometric is stored on the phone. It's not centrally uh, stored in a database. So that's uh, you see, it's it's quite complex. Yes. Um, the, the what is important is that if we come back to the the ecosystem, of course you need the infrastructure to do that. You need a trusted provider of identities, uh, and then you need also that uh, every every step in the in the process uh, is really trustable and secure, of course. And these providers are technology companies mostly? So you have different um, types of providers. Huh? So I talked uh, before about um, your, your bank account, your, your bank. Huh? So it mm -hmm. gives you sometimes access to different services, uh, insurance, um, telecom providers. Exactly. And one of them also is also social media. More and more you can access to different services mm -hmm. with your uh, Facebook account, Google account, Apple account, and That's so true. on. Yeah. Right. Mm. So uh, it, it's a, it's a very fragmented also uh, ecosystem. It's a very fragmented, and so I if we look beyond that and in the future, probably uh, we will see emerging different types of uh, providers. Uh, one of them, for example, that is heavily heavily uh, investing in that is Mastercard. Uh, so they have a network, a trusted network for credit cards, they can use that same network in 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 same way for identification of people. Mm -hmm. So there are some actors that have more advantage in, in the field. We, we see also pure player of identities, providers uh, that are coming into very digital uh, era. So uh, th I think that there will be a lot of uh, different uh, providers and, and probably merging and, and, and mm -hmm. well, uh, to, to, to some of the leading one and probably in the future you will be you will have of course your government that gives you the identity and then one or two or more um, other types of identities and with the idea that more and more you will be in control uh, to give some access uh, to some information in a, in, a, in a central way but to do it uh, to give permission to use the information that's maybe the, the, the future. It just came to my mind now. Will we need new organisms controlling 
governing these new ways of identification if there is any conflict you know any problem who actually answers to that problem now does it exist do we have any entity maybe the, the european union itself? will create a new agency i i, I don't know i was just wondering mm -hmm. maybe it's called the agency for digital identities <laughs> the a the i <laughs> wow, I just came up with a new <laughs> <laughs> There is, there is a, a big um, uh, initiative, of course, in, in Europe linked to EIDAS, huh, so the, the electronic uh, identification, most uh, when working for um, cross-border also identification of, uh, of businesses. Um, so th there is a unit that is uh, in charge of that. There is a, in each country also one of the um, I, I would say um, into the organization of every ministry there is a um, ministry of depending on the country so it's difficult to uh, generalize that but um, of course this this um, there is organizational bodies that uh, deal with that identities in every country yeah. now uh, you mentioned fragmentation and I guess fragmentation is a natural reality for any new technology because you know everything appears everyone is excited but it doesn't mean they, they haven't agreed yet on how to you know put all the thing together now to solve this fragmentation or solving this fragmentation is something easy to accomplish or you feel this will take a bit long and actors will fight among themselves or i don't know is it an easy task I don't think it's an easy test, no. Um, I think when it comes to identity, it's also uh, linked to the um, government uh, control of information. Uh, and so when it comes to that uh, type of uh, uh, critical uh, data, every country is quite reluctant to also completely give up on that um, control. Uh, so the interoperability of the so the connection between the different uh, identities it's something that is very difficult yeah. to achieve and will take longer of course it's much easier when it's a big country with one government in europe with several uh, uh, countries then it makes of course uh, things yeah. a bit more complex Absolutely. to <laughs> achieve not yes, to agree between 27 countries. With That's not a, we know it's not an easy yes. task. With very different perspectives sometimes. Mm. But even yes. I think in the United States, it's difficult because it's such a gigantic country. It's the same. It's such a different approach per yes. state. That you know, but it's uh, pretty interesting, mm. this thing. Carlita, you have the next one, I think. Yes. Um, so what are the characteristics of responsible digital identity management so people and businesses can fully adopt it and be happy with it <laughs> so I, I think there is a question of really standardization and so that makes it uh, also more interoperable and so trust it um, the trust is all about this uh, this digital identity same way as it was with with physical uh, identity card uh, if you don't trust that identity card well doesn't it doesn't bring any value so you need to have that uh, level of trust in all the aspects that provide an identity which is digital now i have a question does this mean that the physical id will disappear, disappear? or what do <laughs> or, you mean? One or, day do, we or do you think that we will keep still both i think of people who Unfortunately, unfortunately, we still live in a world where people, not everyone reads and writes, like my grandparents. So I wonder how would they survive in a world or of a digital identity? Oh, oh. That's tough question. question. That's, a tough one. <laughs> That's a tough one. That's a touchy question, yes, but it's, it's true. What, what, what we, we can see and observe is that, yes, less and less uh, physical documents will be issued. We know that also from a, from a security point of view, it's more easy to, to fraud uh, or spoof a document uh, than a, a digital yeah. identity. Uh, so mm -hmm. at scale, as well, it's, it's, it's really, um, so yes, the response is yes, it will, it will uh, disappear one, once. I don't know when, probably it will take longer than I expect or, but, um, or can foreseen or forecast, but... Uh, more and more, yes, it will become... Uh, Your question, Carla, is forcing me to jump 
to the tenth question. Okay. Because it's linked about, uh, to cybersecurity. <laughs> so imagine we get most of our identity to be digital. Okay, it becomes digital, and someone hacks me just because I am cool and important, <laughs> and they want to hug me. They will have access to a lot of things, or not. Or <laughs> I, I, my question. But I think that's the point of making it very safe. Yes, or exactly. But you know, as the technology moves forward, but the that's hackers true. They sometimes are very go, smart. Yes, are very smart. Mm -hmm. So I'm 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 actually pro super trooper agree with this digital thing I am um, and I'm using a lot of, of it now but I'm also more afraid of <laughs> if someone hacks me or hacks you or I don't know what do you think how this will be evolved blockchain will play a maybe <laughs> a game the game I don't know I'm, I'm maybe just you know tr throwing things that make no sense but yeah I think that those are concerns in people's minds I'm being a citizen now. <laughs> 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 I think um, we need to compare that with the current situation. Uh, so if somebody can, can use our identity today without being digital. And uh, if we go beyond also, what is the information that is publicly available on yourself on the Internet without hackers? Social, for instance, no? Articles I have written. <laughs> yes, passwords. But, uh, passwords, I yes. guess. Emails. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I think there are two. two so if if we look first at the the, the spoofing of identity today, um, it, it's um, the fraud of identities is the, one of the most important fraud in, in when it comes to frauds. Um, it's 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 a majority is linked to identity. Mm -hmm. uh, so being more digital make it more secure. Globally, of course, there will be some 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 threats uh, mm -hmm. to address. That's for sure. Uh, then it comes also. I think what it resonates to me is that we sometimes have, have a bit of, uh, we 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 are scared about it. The fact that it's digital, but on the other way, <coughs> most a lot of people do not really know what they provide as information to different uh, providers. That's true. Hmm? That's I'm thinking true. about the famous DNA tests. I don't know if you heard about that. It was a big scandal because people were sending their sample yes. to know where they were coming from. Yes. And this is sold to pharmaceuticals or to other companies because they can use this. is very important I can't information. Believe it. Really? Yes. And I was thinking of doing so. <laughs> Why companies do that? Money. Money, money, money. <laughs> 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 Sorry for interrupting you, Sergio. But, but I think it's a good example. Yes. It's a good example. Yeah, a good so example. Uh, there is really a schizophrenic aspect somehow because people publish their entire life on, on Facebook or Instagram or whatsoever uh, with plenty of information that can be at the end if you uh, make the link with all the information that you publish, you can make an ident identification of person. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so th there is uh, also a, um, uh, a story that uh, that uh, reminds me um, uh, a, a city that is publishing the information about the usage of the, the bicycles, right? So it's anonymized. Um, you just see how many person use that mm -hmm. service, what are the, 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 the yeah. tracks and, and, and the stops and so on and so forth, right? But if you can combine that with your phone information, with your social media information and so on and so forth at the end you can say this is mr Luis that is taking the the bicycle at 8 uh, 15 today and he has made several steps how long what he did how much he paid and so on and yeah. so forth so that's 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 the problem uh, so it's not much about um, the identity it's about what you can do with it and how you can correlate that to different information Linked to that, and this is nothing to do with, but it's kind of linked to what you say. You know, I read an article, a priest, a couple of months ago, was outed because someone, and it was published in a very big mm, online magazine, someone had the time to track where the priest was. Oh. And then it publicly outed the priest. But that's very dangerous. It is. And scary. And this is what I think people are against, I think. Well, 
I, I think you will have some resistance at, in the beginning. In the end, I guess we will all agree, like like most things. So the question is, do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Exactly. What do you think? Greatly, yes. <laughs> 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 um, the, the thing is, you need to design your system also in a way that by default, by design, it is uh, secure. Is it? Uh, it's uh, it's completely uh, secure from from end to end. I would say. Uh, so, it's important that from the beginning, uh, the data aspect, uh, the security aspect, are taken into consideration. So um, that's really the, the the key elements. It's it's always more difficult when the system is there, and then, oh my God, I forgot to uh, secure that part of the system. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's much more um, difficult to achieve that. So by default, uh, security by design, um, data privacy by design. This is really uh, yeah, a must key. have. It's, yeah, I guess but we will have flaws in a way because it's normal, but we will learn by doing. And if if it's from uh, yeah from the beginning till the end, you know when you conceive what you are doing, as you said, by design, then flaws will be less. But it's interesting. Huh? If, if you, um, I have many Italian friends, but uh, one of them told me recently that uh, it's the first time that he has a, uh, an ID card that is, looks like a credit card. Huh? <laughs> and for, for years and years and years, it was just a paper. Like yes. in, in France, I with, think it's uh, with France in, Gr also. in Greece as well. In Greece, they have a paper. I don't it's know. In, 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 Unbelievable. In, yeah. I must say that Portugal is not doing so bad. No, in Spain, we have this thing with a digital with the, the pin cheap. over the chip yeah. uh -huh. and and well you yeah you can do some transactions I guess now that not live there but more than before now you, you can vote with, it, with your uh, ID card six, it's yes, great like really so we, we see the, the progression yes <laughs> <laughs> slowly <laughs> because surely. actually the next the next <laughs> question is kind of linked to the fact I if there is any country in Europe driving this, if, if you know, well, at least in the European Union, if, if you see there are some spreadheaded countries leading this movement or it's, 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 well, we are all more or less at the same level. You mean pushing this forward? Yeah, pushing, more let's than say, uh, you know, you know what happened, yeah. Normally. Estonia is already quite advanced, but whether they're the ones pushing it, it's yeah, a different question. Yeah, that's different. Okay. I, I think size, uh, matter sometimes because uh, Estonia is not that big and I don't know if they are really driving this or oh, it's more a European Union pan continental thing. The, the point about Estonia is that they started from scratch. Yes. Uh, and so that's their big advantage is when they started to um, I mean to be um, a nation I mean they can really um, they don't have legacy they start from building everything everything together and identity was then by default digital and, and, and every process is, is, is almost digitalized uh, in that country. Uh, so yeah. the fact is we are not starting from the same um, same place yeah. and, 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 and transformation is always more difficult than when you start from, from zero. Uh, so you need to really rethink all the processes you have put in place, the different uh, steps in those processes, replace them um, and that's what makes it uh, long and, uh, and, and a bit cumbersome. <laughs> <And painful. laughs> no, in, cha in changing patterns and behaviors, because when you have already something established, then changing those behaviors linked to the, that establishment is hard. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. So actually, what are the next steps? So the commission has this uh, put forward this initiative, but what is what coming next, next? Yeah, exactly? Uh, so they, they don't publish all the details about the, the action plan, but uh, what we can expect is that um, so it, it, just the concept uh, is really the sort of uh, a wallet uh, where you will have your identity and then you would provide your identities to different uh, service providers when you want and what you want to, to, to give so access to. It's one wallet for everything. Uh, they, they d well, they don't disclose every every everything uh, into the details, but uh, <laughs> we can imagine that in the future, what what will happen is that all your information about yourself, your certificates, uh, your your diplomas, and so on and so forth, you can maybe centralize them somewhere, mm -hmm. okay, and then you give access to uh, to wallet, your 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 bank account or your bank, uh, your insurance. 
the, your company. And that will be very, very appealing for users yes. because any time you need to provide so many times the same information. Oh, yes. Uh, it, um, and I hope you can take, <laughs> I see. You can take the documents, you can yeah. share the documents. You see, you yes. I see the value of I think of that, that's the, the big idea behind yeah. that. It's just simplification of this process to give access to the information that is certified um, to the right, uh, the right uh, service provider when, you, when, when needed. Now, I guess, and European Union friends, please don't hate me, or European Commission, but I guess n not everything is disclosed yet because they haven't figured it out yet either. I mean, I they're working on it. It's an yeah. ongoing project and it's a gigantic initiative. So, yeah. Uh, I have one question, um, Serge, um, the unskippable, sometimes hateful <laughs> regulation matters. Uh, is there... There is regulation now, but it will be advanced, improved, so more, get more sophisticated things to, or due to this new initiative. Or do you think we are already well regulated in this field? I think that will be one of the angle, uh, because, of course, in practice, uh, you, you see also uh, what what you need from from the regulators. Uh, the data privacy uh, law uh, came into force uh, much later than uh, than when the, the data were provided uh, to different service providers. Huh? So there is always a, a, legacy, uh, a, a delay between the two, um, but it's important, again, to, to really uh, anticipate that as much as possible and, and by design uh, to, to implement this uh, concept uh, into the, the, the systems that will be deployed. Mm -hmm. So if we look at um, the border management, uh, with, when, uh, this is a big transformation also occurring in Europe, uh, where everything goes digital, and the way you identify a person that crossed the border, mm -hmm. and how you, you, you transfer that info information between the member states. Uh, so um, it's, it's a good um, I would say example of how it can be in the future also with digital identity. Um, there is for example, I can cite that as well, um, one identity uh, database uh, that is being built uh, for Europeans. Uh, so just transferring the data from, from a country mm -hmm. to another and for, for travelers uh, that are arriving to Europe uh, to centralize that information. That today is not the case. Uh, so you see, we can see the, the, the path uh, and the, the journey that needs to occur. When it comes to digital identity, it will be very important by default um, and by design. There is a high level of, uh, of security that is put in place. And Carlita, you have the, the, the last question today. Yes. Um, well, I'm sure regulation is a part of it, a piece of the puzzle. But uh, what about technology? Are we ready to take this challenge technology-wise? Do we have uh, the right solutions, or do they need to be still improved? Right. So, the, oh, I mean, uh, what we have now does it <laughs> still need to be improved in order to take this challenge? I think it's still you know, even eye recognition. I don't know, maybe a finger. I don't know. I'm saying things, but mm -hmm. or the, the wallet in itself. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, well, I think you, you're right. Also, huh? the, the 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 regulation is the first. Um, uh, baseline, I would say, uh, to start a project in, in Europe. Uh, so you will have a, a legal basis where you will find the potential future uh, ways uh, digital identity will be built or what it lo would look like. From a technology point of view, I think this is already uh, there. Uh, it's a question now to assemble the piece of the puzzle and also to build the capacity uh, to handle that at, at scale in Europe. Uh, but if we look at uh, other countries like China, we can see that technology is not anymore uh, um, blocking factors. Yes. But could, because I suppose that there are different solutions, because different countries might have different solutions, couldn't, the, couldn't this be a problem, like solutions fighting to get the seat? Or maybe that also needs a standardization. I, I don't know. Maybe. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, that, that's the point. That's about really the when everything will be uh, providing the real added value. It's when it's completely connected. 
connected means that it's standardized in a way that information are, are transfer, transfer transferred to transferable. different parties. And that's the key factor. Okay. Okay. Um, I was just thinking of the metaverse uh, that Mark Zuckerberg uh, <laughs> proposed some weeks ago. You know, the metaverse is the idea he has that Facebook, well, I don't want to talk badly about Facebook, it's just it will become a sort of parallel world <laughs> where we will have a second identity. And I guess digital identity will be useful to play the metaverse in the metaverse world. <laughs> Just saying, whatever. No, it's because it's what interesting. Is the metaverse, I, the metaverse I in fact, what, what he's proposing, what he wants Facebook to become, is a parallel world where you you wear, for instance, you put um, on um, VR VR's headsets, yes. and we could be, Serge could be in France, you could be in Portugal, and I could be somewhere else in the world. And we actually get together oh. in a room, <laughs> and it looks like we are there. I see. And I guess all that. If we want that to get serious and to really be used in business, it will need serious digital identities and uh, biometric systems that allow you to access that in a secure manner. Imagine you have a very important meeting, mm -hmm. business meeting, and, and something happens, you know. I, I don't know. I'm just, but I think the future looks exciting. It's just a bit scary. But uh, I am in. Me too. <laughs> and <So>. you, Serge? <laughs> well, I'm already here. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I guess Antoine agrees with all that, no, Antoine? Do he's, you agree? he's saying yes. He's, he's saying nodding. Yes. He's <laughs> shaking, <laughs> shaking his head, saying he's the youngest in the room. So yeah, there is no choice. <laughs> we may you don't have a choice. <laughs> we, we, we may escape it, but he wouldn't. He no. won't escape it. Okay, so I think... Honestly, it was very, very, very nice talk. And very interesting. Very interesting. We could continue talking and, and probably would be better with a glass of wine, I think, because this topic may raise some feelings. <laughs> and yeah, some people are more conservative. Some people say we'll never, ever do that, even young people. And uh, others like us, we may be more willing to try. So thanks a lot, Serge. Uh, it, was, it was a pleasure to be with you. And uh, I don't know if you want to add something like last thoughts. Like last last thoughts. Uh, well, I think identity matters. Identity matters. Yes, and love matters too. <laughs> 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 right, that's a good final touch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, thank you yeah, very thank much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Until the next episode. This is Tech Talk. Carla is sleeping. Yes, I will I'm say it again, okay? <laughs> this is Tech Talk. Technology I made simple over a cup of coffee. Oh my. <laughs> I always forget the second part because I usually say just over a cup of coffee. Okay. That's why. Okay, okay. I, well, you, my, you, my, know, you know we're slogan, so have a very, very nice <laughs> weekend in the next time. Ciao. Ciao. Bye bye. And that was all for today. This is Tech Talk, technology made simple over a cup of coffee. Thank you for listening and until the next episode.